Black guy. It's been about 38 years since Mauna Loa last erupted, but it has been really active in the past. Jonathan Jared Safi joining us live from the H&N Digital Center to tell us more. Jonathan. Yeah, Grace, you know, the HVO USGS has a number of tools we're monitoring here at H&N and from the H&N Digital Center to keep us alert to what is happening. Let's start with this. You'll recall, call, we gave you the first alert to some rumblings that were happening there at the 13,681 foot volcano. It had shown increased earthquake activity over the last several weeks, leading many to believe that an eruption could happen sooner rather than later. And as you look at this later, latest live picture that was taken just minutes ago you can definitely see it is active this morning let's give you some historical context now the 1984 lava flow lasted 22 days and came within a few miles of Hilo town all historically recorded events there on Mauna Loa eruptions started at the summit area and about half of them stayed in the summit. So I have a really cool HVO map to show you now. So check this out. This really gives you context to the history. Let's look at that 1984 flow. That's here. You can see how close it came to Hilo right there. 17 of the historically recorded flows continued from vents in the volcano's rift zone and producing lava flows that covered broad areas of the lower slopes of the volcano. Just check out where the 1950 flow went. Seven flows from the southwest rift zone reached the ocean along the west coast of Hawaii Island. You can see that right there. Just seven of them reached the coast there. And in 1855 to 1856 and 1880 to 1881, lava from the volcano's northeast rift zone did reach the ocean but covered land now within the city limits of Hilo. So that's just some of the tools we'll be using here at H&N to track what's going on over there. Keep in mind this is a very dynamic situation so keep checking your alerts here at H&N and we'll be keep checking in with those officials. I know we have another interview coming up in just a few minutes. Yeah it's great to see the history of it right now though they're saying it's still pretty safe for all those communities right now. No mandatory evacuations have been issued. Jonathan, exactly. thanks. Jonathan, thanks for the information on that as well. I like the maps.